Welcome back to Fox Walk Primitive. Uh, we're here still at the second day of Blade Show 2015. I'm standing here at White River Knife and Tool booth. It's an impressive booth, and I'm talking with Matt Kaminga, and we're gonna talk about a few of their knife designs and, and what they got going on. Matt, what are we, what are we looking at? Well, this is uh, a few of the White River knives, and I'll kind of start from our, our uh, less expensive models and work our way up. This is called the White River Knucklehead. It's S30V stainless. It's all made right in our shop in Michigan from start to finish. It's a nice just little neck knife. It has a bottle opener in the back. You hold on to it with a, a through hole in the front there. Gives you a nice grip on it. It's chisel ground and just an extremely sharp edge. Comes with a Kydex sheath. Extremely lightweight. You can hardly even feel it when you're wearing it. And along those same lines, a nice survival knife, paracord wrapped handle is our backpacker. We have it in either stonewash finished or iron bond coating. Comes with a Kydex sheath. So you've got a nice, decent sized blade for doing most tasks. Of course, you're not going to do much batoning or anything like that with this, but it's extremely lightweight. You can process a game with it, do your camp chores, things along those lines. Of course, the Kydex sheath snaps in, it's secure, it doesn't rattle. You can use it like a neck knife or wear the belt loop, which is multi position, right or left handed. And it's just a great, great little buck knife, around 100 bucks, made in the USA. Our caper, which is basically the same profile as the backpacker, but it's got handles, handle scales that are all hand finished. Gives you a nice feel, a nice grip, but it's gonna add a little weight just because of the handle scales. We offer the Kydex or leather sheath for this. That's right around 170 bucks. Along those same lines is our Scout, a little bit smaller, it's a real nice, Nice handle on there, nice size handle with a small blade, so you use it almost like a scalpel. But it's made of S30V, holds a great edge, you know, high carbon stainless steel. Now uh, that one comes in a Kydex or leather sheath as well. So that's some of our, our more modern designs. We also have our whole uh, classic hunting knives, which are uh, 52100 high carbon steel. It's a ball bearing steel, just holds a great edge. Uh, it's not stainless, so you, you know it takes a little more maintenance, but uh, it's really easy to sharpen, and it's more of a classic design, kind of based on some some of the older classic clip points and drop points that you're used to. But decent sized blades and a nice handle, so you can get a lot of control. It's about a three quarter tang, so it holds up well. It's got the strength, all stabilized wood. Some of the standard models are uh, canvas micarta or Tiger Stripe Maple, and then we have some customs that we're showing here at the show that are a little bit harder to come by. So this one's the Sendero Pack Knife. It's just a great lightweight, uh, all around skin and knife. This one comes with a Kydex sheath. It's about an eighth inch thick, it's S30B. Feels good upside down, so if you're skinning animals, going up their belly or whatever, or right side up, it's just a great grip on there. This one comes with a lanyard hole. And we also have, the Sendero Bush Knife, which is 10% larger but the same profile. And this one goes for 220 and this one's for 200 for the standard G10. The one with custom handles would be more like 300 bucks. Uh, but the standard is around 200 And red readily available? Readily available, yep. All right. For those of you that are familiar with Jerry Fisk, uh, his knife knowledge is superb, and you can guarantee you this geometry here is this is just a razor, razor sharp slicing knife. This thing coming coming from influence of Jerry Fisk is just going to be sharp. Matter of fact, I've already cut myself just looking at it. <laughs> so, and, that, and it looks tremendous. Its fit and finish is flawless, and it's very comfortable in the hand. And it's almost featherweight. I mean, you can't even tell you're holding. This is one of our newer newer Jerry Fisk models. It's called the original Sendero, and this one's a little bit of a higher end knife. Um, still the retail on it's two, 250 bucks. We're gonna have leather sheaths for them. This is so new we don't even have the sheaths ready yet. Oh, okay. But it's actually a full hidden tang construction on there. Stainless steel pin and a stainless guard. Um, and an S30B as well. And that's just based on his actual Sendero model. That's why we call it the original Sendero. Nice. Uh, my Carta handles, like I said, it's gonna have nice leather sheaths made in Michigan as well. And that's just a great all around knife. It feels fantastic, and again, having this bolster guard here with a Jerry Fisk influence knife, you need it. If any accident is going to be bad, so and it's again, it's very lightweight. I, I mean, you could 
carry this for miles and miles and forget you even have it. Got it. Very nice. So that's a you know basic presentation of what we have to offer. We've got a few other models too, which are of course available on our website. And, uh, it looks like you got a little bit robust Fisk influence model here. Yeah, this one's the White River Defender, designed by Jerry Fisk as well. And that's quite a bit larger. It's got a good weight to it for the size. My car to handles comes with a custom-made Kydex sheath. So that's just a basically a, a very large fighting knife. <laughs> and one thing um, you got to notice in, in video and picture does no justice, but this micarta has been polished somewhat, so it's very smooth. It's very smooth. It doesn't have that raw uh, texture that you get from a lot of stock knives with, with canvas on it. And again, the fit and finish on this is just superb. It's, it's very smooth. There's no edges to dig in. Uh, I mean, all of the, all of the edges on the on the blade on the tang. Are, are very, very comfortable. And again, for a blade this size, this knife is very, very light. And that is just another little uh, aspect of a fist knife. And you've got this one here with a sharpened uh, chisel swedge on it. And it's a fist, so it's sharp. We offer it with or without that edge as well, obviously depending on local laws and, and just preference in general. So these two are gonna be uh, coming out to the market very soon and they'll, they'll be readily available. Do you have a release date? Future. What's that? Do you have a release date? Um, pretty much now. This at the show is oh, our okay. release so date. Okay, so be released now. Yeah, okay. shortly after the show, you'll we'll see it popping up on, online. So. so if you're not here, you should have been here. So. <laughs> All right, man. I enjoyed it. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. I like what you're doing. I'm a fellow Michigander myself. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right, guys. We got more coming. Stay tuned.